Good Monday morning to you from Cashers, North Carolina. It is the second week in the season of Easter. Alleluia, alleluia. I hope that you are giving thanks and having opportunities for reconciliation and rebirth. And as we talked about uh, in church yesterday, in my sermon at least, new beginnings. Every new beginning comes from some other beginnings end, uh, not attributed to supersonic, but the, to the philosopher Seneca who lived in Rome uh, at the time of Christ. So with that in mind, let us begin and have a new beginning. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who in the Paschal mystery established the new covenant of reconciliation, grant that all who have been reborn into the fellowship of Christ's body may show forth in their lives what they profess by their faith. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We begin reading from a new book of the Bible, a new letter, the first letter of Peter, chapter 1, verse 1. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the exiles of the dispersion in Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, who have been chosen and destined by God the Father and sanctified by the Spirit to be obedient to Jesus Christ and to be sprinkled with his blood. May grace and peace be yours in abundance. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading kept in heaven for you, who are being protected by the power of God through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, even if now, for a little while, you have to suffer various trials, so that the genuineness of your faith, being more precious than gold, that though perishable is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Although you have not seen him, you love him. And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and rejoice with an indescribable and glorious joy. For you are receiving the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Concerning this salvation, the prophets who prophesied of grace that was to be yours made careful search and inquiry, inquiring about the person or time that the Spirit of Christ within them indicated when it was testified in advance to the sufferings destined for Christ and the subsequent glory. It was revealed to them that they were serving not themselves but you in regard to the things that have now been announced to you through those who have brought you good news by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven, things into which angels long to look. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our canticle is the song of the three young men. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple. On the throne of your majesty, glory to you. Glory to you seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you beholding the depths 
in the high vault of heaven, glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. A reading from John chapter 14. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and still you do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak of my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do and, in fact, will do greater works than these because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate, to be with you forever. This is the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, because he abides in you, and he will be in you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Some great Easter lessons. Let us now pray in the words that Christ has taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life, and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O merciful Creator, your hand is open wide to satisfy the needs of every living creature. Make us always thankful for your loving providence, and grant that we, remembering the account that we must one day give, may be faithful stewards of your good gifts. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth, and sent your blessed Son to preach peace. Peace to those who are far off and those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. 
pour out your spirit upon all flesh and bring peace among the nations, particularly for the people of Ukraine, thus hastening the coming of your kingdom. This we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let's end with the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world through your Son, Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise not only with our lips but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit be honor and glory now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Great to be with you this Monday and look forward to seeing you next time. Go in peace.